I'm Bill Monroe. A lawsuit against the city of Prescott was settled Tuesday. City Council approved an agreement that settles all claims property owners in the Center Point East development had, as well as any claims the city may have had against those owners. The claim involved the change in location for the Highway 89A traffic interchange. A 62-year-old California man accidentally shot himself in the leg at the Gunside Academy in Paulden Wednesday afternoon. The man was in a basic pistol class when the accident occurred. He was transported to Flagstaff Medical Center in good condition. On Thursday night, the Prescott Valley Town Council discussed pavement improvements on Lake Valley Road. Asphalt Paving and Supplies submitted the low bid of more than $178,000 for the project, which runs from Florentine Road to Lakeshore Drive. The Congressional District 4 candidates debated each other Friday night. The Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University College Republican Club hosted the debate, which featured candidates District 1 Congressman Paul Gosar, Pinal County Sheriff Paul Babiu, and State Senator Ron Gould. 65 juveniles were detained on the morning of Sunday, April 15th, following an after-prom party on Iron King Road in Dewey Humboldt that got out of control. 34 citations, mainly involving underage drinking, were also written, and further citations for littering and property damage are pending. Prescott Deputy City Manager Ellison Zalms outlined a realignment system Tuesday that would combine the sick and vacation leave banks into one paid time off system by July 1st. This realignment is being done as a cost-cutting measure that council will vote on next month. Arizona Department of Commerce representatives were on hand Wednesday to present a check for $300,000 to the Prescott Valley Economic Development Foundation. The money will be used towards job creation for four businesses in Prescott Valley and one in Chino Valley. And following a community meeting in Dewey Humboldt Wednesday night, a blood screening was held at Humboldt Elementary School Thursday afternoon. Residents raised concerns over health issues due to the cleanup of the Iron King Mine Humboldt Smelter site at the meeting, which had representation from the Environmental Protection Agency, the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, and the Arizona Departments of Environmental Quality and Health Services. I'm Bill Monroe, and that's your KQNA News Week in Review.